Dead Matt. <laughs> and welcome to my macabre movie mania. This is a new monthly show where I talk about the grotesque, the gruesome, the horrifying. I'm going to be talking about horror movies, if you catch my drift. So I thought for my first show, I would start with the most terrifying. Horrifying, most relentless beast imaginable. Produce! Attack of the killer tomatoes. Attack of the killer tomatoes. They'll beat you, bash you, squish you, mash you, chew you up for brunch, and finish you off for dinner or lunch. Yes, today, we are talking about the horror comedy, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> it was directed by John D. Bello and released in October of 1978. It is a parody of the monster cult movies from the 50s and 60s, but made ridiculous because tomatoes, you know, usually fear tomatoes. You get it? I get it. The plot, surprisingly, is about an attack of killer tomatoes across the United States. Shocking, I know. It is hinted that the reason the tomatoes became sentient is because genetic alteration. Can you say GMOs? <laughs> Our hero is Mason Dixon, played by David Miller of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes fame. Mason Dixon, special agent. He is tasked by the president to find a way to stop the killer tomatoes because the military's attempts have been fruitless. So he begins his quest to find a way to end the reign of the furious fruit. You know, because tomatoes are actually a fruit. He is joined by his assistant, Lieutenant Wilbert Finlander, and reporter Lois Fairchild. Together, they must find a way to stop the tomato menace. In the end, they find the way to beat it is using a song, a horrifying song, Puberty love that causes the tomatoes to shrink and turn back into regular tomatoes. The monster of a horror movie stopped by a song. That sounds fun. Funny little factoid for you, this helicopter crash actually was a mistake on set and really crashed a helicopter. Unfortunately, nobody was hurt, <laughs> but they were able to keep it in the movie. My overall thoughts on Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is it is much reminiscent of screwball comedies a lot like 1980's Airplane. And since Airplane came out two years after The Tomatoes, I personally would think they took a lot of inspiration from this sort of screwball comedy. At times, there can be some very bad acting, as well as an overabundance of gags, causing the movie to slow down and in the middle dragged slightly. But in the end, it's got some goofy fun, although it is missing any gore or satanic imagery, which I prefer in most movies. Look at the jack tomato, Martha. I didn't know they'd grown so big, Jess. I wonder where he's going. He's got little Timmy. 
court, Jimmy. Get him all up. But it is some goofy fun, and it is a classic, so bad it's good movie. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes was filmed on a $100,000 budget and brought in over $500,000, roughly estimated to $2 million in today's money. Originally, it was panned by critics, but gained a cult following which sticks with it today. And it became popular enough to spawn three sequels. Return of the Killer Tomatoes, Killer Tomatoes Strike Back, and Killer Tomatoes Eat France. And some of you millennials out there will remember the 1990 cartoon, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, that ran for two seasons on Fox. In 2008, the AskAninja.com crew said they were making a remake of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. But in 2014, John D. Bellow said that there is no more movement on that project, and as of right now, there is no plans to continue the legacy of the Killer Tomato. In the end, this parody of cult classic horror movies in and of itself became a cult classic. It is shown at many midnight showings, and John D. Bellows has become a bit of a, a notarized figure in the underground horror classics. It is a, one of the pinnacle so bad it's good movies, and it is so bad that it's good. <laughs> it is a fun classic movie, although has some outdated gags in it, but in the end is entirely enjoyable, and I give it 3 out of 5 sentient tomatoes, and it is the perfect addition to any bad movie night. Thank you for joining me on this first macabre movie mania. Join me next month as I talk about another classic horror movie. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some carrots that have begun to foment insurrection. Hey, put that down. Put it down. Tomato. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this show. It is going to be a new monthly show, and I am going to have votes on which movie I cover every month, so follow me on Twitter at, at wizard underscore Matt to make sure you get your vote heard for the next uh, horror movie. And check out these videos to uh, check out some more of me, and I hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment, hit that thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, subscribe, baby. Why not?